Uh, you have to go two three rounds because uh, it settles down slowly, and you must go for two three rounds because if you go for, uh, at a single round, uh, air pocket may creates. So to avoid air pockets, you must go for two three rounds. You can see uh, one of our team member is mixing the resin. It is used for piezo sensor. It's black in color. They are crystal particles which passes the pressure no, to the piezo sensor. Now he is uh, powering the hardener. As soon as we finish mixing epoxy, we need four five members. Uh, they should power the epoxy into the grooves. You can see he is powering the uh, resin compound on the piezo sensor, starting piezo led to the end. He is going thrice four times. Uh, you should know to uh, power at once. It will create air pocket. and it will affect the sensitivity of the piezo sensor so we uh, go 3 4 rounds and let the resin compound go down slowly the one container piezo resin is enough for 6 feet piezo we'll remove the tape after 5 to 10 minutes or sometimes depending upon the weather condition of the site the process of drying the epoxy and resin is known as curing epoxy curing time is 1 uh, and a half to 2 hours depending upon the weather condition and the resin uh, setting time is only 30 minutes remove tape as soon as graft begins to set at this point when all the lane cutting laying and filling is done all cables are bunched together and pulled out from the conduit up to the cabinet that is housing the ATCC machine. The next step is to trim the ends of loop and piezo connecting cables. All the wire should be of equal length else it will put extra stress on the connection bar which is installed inside the cabinet and if it's so uh, any connection may get loose. and connect the u-shaped connectors so that this can be connected to the connection bar the inner wire serve as one terminal and the mesh serve as the another terminal similar thing will be repeated in this piezo at this point we will check to see that the signal from each loop is clear uh, we are connecting the loop input cable first we have connected the loop uh, loop of this uh, side now we are going to connect the loop of the, that side one piezo connector can uh, connect eight piezo but here we have only four at the central data collection center you will connect the phoenix machine with a laptop using aerial serial cable as soon as it's connected the machine will show serial active on your laptop click on the centurion the following will appear on the screen now i'm going to show how to connect the machine how to connect the all, all the connectors and also uh, one thing also you know, that is very important that just turning on the machine is not sufficient to make it uh, start collecting so you have to press some keys which will let you uh, which will let the machine to start collecting data so on this side there is a earthing wire which we need to connect before starting the machine this is the printer and computer serial input port this is basically used for the modem this is for the battery and charger you must pro provide regular power supply regular power supply this connector has two cable this is for the piezo sensors and uh, upp piezo and also here uh, here it is written upp harness here it is also uh, written loop inputs 1 to 4 loop inputs 5 to 8 the first piezo should be connected with the red one first one is red second one is white also here it is written third one is green here also uh, it is written fourth one is blue here also it is written so you not uh, face difficulty if somehow any connection get loose or uh, it uh, get out okay loop connecting cable is easily identifiable because it has only one cable these are the dust cap when not in use please put it on serial input ports 
from where you can take data we have connected this port with our laptop and this one is connected with the modem to transmit data to the control center we have uh, a special customized modem for data transmission inside the modem we have uh, put sim cards sim cards are provided by safaricom those are the special sim cards those are the public static ip enabled sim cards so we have written a program software that is installed in uh, on kena server in uh, headquarter so that that server fetch data from atcc when you open the lid of the machine there is a instructions there when machine is not co uh, collecting the data these eight options are available on the display when machine is already collecting the data there will be six options there stop collecting you can uh, delete the files which are in the memory of this machine so status you can uh, check the status of the machine monitor lines you can monitor the ev every sen sensor is it working or not time of shutdown view lane totals here you can see uh, number of lanes how many lanes are connected with this machine when you put on it will show system self test and the version of the machine after that it will show start collecting if you want to start collecting the data you should press the enter key you have to press until it will show tuning loops frequency of the loops when it is done it will show connected loop this machine is for eight number of loops so it is showing that unconnected loop it means loops are not connected here this is the time stamp at what time stamp vehicle has passed from the sensor this is the speed of the vehicle this is the number of axles the vehicle has and this is the length of the vehicle body length of the vehicle and this is a bin based on which the classification of the vehicle is being done if it shows 3 it means a car if it shows 11 it is a trailer if it shows a 5 uh, it is a truck and uh, s bin l bin g bin h bin are internal parameter of this machine and uh, you can see 1 dash 2 2 dash 3 this is the spacing between the first and second second and third third and fourth this is the axle spacing monica bonyo of kenha says the traffic data collected will among others inform future road infrastructure projects this project is all about developing a tra uh, traffic information database system that will be uh, enable kenha to collect data traffic data have it stored in our database system so when we want to design a road we look at that if you all know one of the parameters that is used to design a road is the traffic data so in the previous we used to rely on a manual count now this system will enable us to automate that count system so that we can be able to capture traffic data be able to classify them on a 24 hour basis from the first day of the january to the 31st day of january in the comfort of our office we don't have to have people on the ground to do the count we just sit in our office monitor the database system and then get the data that we need to design a road and plan even for future development the atcc machine will go a long way in helping identify priority areas that will need improved road infrastructure expansion and even construction of new roads <laughs>